Hi everybody, welcome to True Wants, where here we try to help you make that decision if it's gonna change from a want to a need. If you are new to my channel, I really hope you will choose to subscribe. It's free and it's easy. It's the red button that's found right underneath this video and if you press it and it turns gray, you're in. It's that simple. There's also a bell that's beside that subscribe button and I always recommend that you press it. It's called the notification bell. And what ends up happening is YouTube will send you one email notifying you that I just uploaded a brand new video. You will see in your inbox the picture and the title of the video and when you press on the picture it acts like a shortcut and it takes you directly to the video. It's something I use and I enjoy and I always want to make sure that you guys know about it as well because I do upload a lot and sometimes my videos are time sensitive and I don't want you guys to miss out. So make sure to press that subscribe button and ring that bell and you will be in the know. And while I have your attention there's one more thing. There is a thumbs up button that's also found right underneath the video. This is something that you YouTube uh, tells us that it's important to mention in our videos, so that's what I've been doing. If you press that thumbs up button, you will see the number increase. It takes a second and it will turn blue. That means that's registered within YouTube. And then YouTube, depending on the number of thumbs up, they then take that video and they put it in front of other people that enjoy this type of content but just have not had the opportunity to meet me yet. So I'm thanking you in advance for doing that for me. I truly, truly appreciate it and it's being very supportive on your end for me and the growth of this channel. So thank you. All right. Today is a day that I mentioned in a previous video when I shared with you my newest find and from ColourPop. I told you all about how much I enjoy ColourPop so much in that video, uh, but ColourPop has a $30 uh, free ship uh, threshold. This palette is a $20 palette. It is an absolute win. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's their newest launch. It is called Garden Variety, but they're launching so much now that they're playing catch up that I don't know if this is their newest newest, but is their one when I purchased it, this was their newest launch. It takes about a week to uh, to get to me. Um, from it's going from California to Florida and because there was uh, that $30 free ship I always try to order so that I can get that free ship and there was a sale that was going on in their bundle area and I always recommend that you guys check uh, the sale area and the bundle areas especially when it comes to ColourPop because they have so many launches that if you don't get in right away which is what I used to do but they started getting so many launches and then I started getting boxes and I was getting enough palettes in the boxes that I kind of uh, stopped doing the ColourPop uh, purchases but I was ColourPop through and through I mean when that line first came out and I was still in Canada and I had a home here and I would literally, you know, send the packages to make sure they came here. I didn't want to miss out on anything. I love their their uh, glosses, their uh, luxe lipsticks, their uh, lip pencils, their eye pencils. I'm a ColourPop girl. I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love their line. But like I said, when I started getting the boxes and all the different palettes, it kind of started taking a backseat. And then ColourPop was doing so many launches that it was only when there were collaborations and things like that, I found myself still like looking at their website. But otherwise, it was kind of like I said, taking a backseat. But there were a couple of items that I put under my true wants list. And what I ended up uh, having on that list were these two here. So when uh, I went in to get this palette, which was $20, they actually had a bundle area and in the bundle area there were these two and I was actually going to get, I didn't know if they were $15 or $12, I knew one of them was going to get me over. They had a sale where both of these I think were uh, 18 so it ended up costing me $9 each where I think these are normally $12 each. This is their nine pans and like I said these both were on my wants list so when I saw that I said I'll do that and I got myself you know 38 so under $40 I got everything I got the free ship I got the two palettes that were on my wants list plus the one that uh, I will leave in the link down below I shared the swatches and everything with that and I didn't want the video to go on too long because these are not newer products but maybe they're new to you so I wanted to make sure that if you were interested just in these two that I would make a separate video for uh, these two these come with a full mirror in it the newest palette this one that's $20 does not that's not a make or break for me because I usually use, uh, I stand up to do my makeup and I usually have a, a large mirror, a uh, lot large mirror, a <laughs> mirror that has magnification and it on one side and then regular on the other. So I'm able to like get up close and, and see everything perfect how I want to. And then, uh, so if there's a mirror in here, I think it's great, but if there's no mirror, it's not a, a 
it's not it doesn't break the bank for me it doesn't if I can save money on the palette and not have a mirror I'm just as good with that because I always when I travel I have my own mirrors and stuff that I take with me and there's always mirrors in the hotel rooms and stuff so this to me uh, uh, is not a, make, not a make or break but I do enjoy having a mirror and a palette but like I said if there's not I'm fine with that too but this one has a full mirror and these I ended up paying nine dollars for so I mean it's like unbelievable and this is so I'm covering the thing also if you when you receive the uh, product I took them off if you think you don't have a mirror, this is what's uh, covering the mirror. Uh, so you just have to uh, peel it off. There's a little peel area there, and then you'll have a beautiful mirror right underneath. It came not with a safety shield. It just came with this type of packaging that helps that the product didn't get damaged. And they sew, um, this is the box that it came in, and everything was bubble wrapped on top of bubble wrapped on top of bubble wrapped. The package looked like it was breaking at the seams, but they did such a fantastic job. You can see that it was packaged with love and care. And then this is what the uh, product looks like inside. This is the one that I was like, I cannot wait to get my hands on. And it took everything in me to leave it aside, to not touch it or swatch it before doing it with you guys here. So that's this one here. I'm going to uh, swatch it so we can see this all together. I know a couple of people uh, stayed a little bit clear of this because one of them is what they're calling like a pressed glitter, I think. So if it's something that bothers you, uh, just definitely don't use it. I don't think it's something that I'm going to put on my eyes simply because I've seen too many people complain that they had issues and it would fall out and it would hurt their cornea and things like that. And to me, I wear glasses all together, so I, I don't want to have any of those type of issues. So I want to make sure that if you know about that and that then, you know, stay clear, please leave in the comments down below if you have this palette, if you've used this palette, if you've tried that and if you've had any issues or no issues. I just would love to be uh, brought up to date in reference to this because like I said, this is my first time I'm putting my hands on this. All right, so let's do some swatching. The first one is a matte and their formula is so fantastic that even I'm gonna you know check later between the newest one to this one but I don't think just by feeling it in my fingers right now that uh, you would feel that that second one does feel like it would be something that would fall out so to me I would be really careful with that and that is called darling uh, hungry ghost I think and then uh, this one I think is called perky and those are the first three here it's very pretty and if you you need a glitter and you want to put it on your face I, I all the more power to you but to me on the eyes I, I just you know the eyes are, are so important that I, I wouldn't do that and it, you could even see on the the tissue that I'm using the wet wipe how it's all glittery and this type of thing I know in Halloween and those type when we start putting all that fun stuff on us that uh, these glitters you, you see them for months after October all right the next ones are uh, a satin shimmer you got another matte and another one here and this one it's so hard to see here guys this is called get even uh, center fold and I think glaze it all right that's what that looks like there and then we have the bottom three so I'm wiping it with the wet uh, one that you saw and then I have a dry towel right beside me. And then the last three is, uh, they're so beautiful. This one is called Ochre, ready to, uh, ready or yacht and half baked. I just think this is stunning. I, I, I'm telling you, I'm such a be all and end all for, um, for uh, ColourPop. Also, if the colors are not strong enough, I'm just going over a couple of them now so they'll be better for the camera so you guys can really see the color. I like when there's not overly, overly pigmented so you have to spend less time blending. And if you want to add color, it's so much easier to add color than it is to sit there and blend it out. And I'm the type that takes a uh, pencil, uh, a brush that puts it on the end and then I blend that out so I like to pack the color on and then blend it so when it is uh, less it, it's better for me all right the next one is going coconuts I'm going to try to swatch with this hand onto this hand which I've never done before so let's see how that goes so this one is called baby got peach and this one is called going coconuts and the same beautiful beautiful full mirror and then these are the colors that are in here and to me this is that perfect standard palette that if you're traveling like I used to so often this has been initially when you know we had to be home for a little bit I got so much done I, I cleaned out my whole area because I moved everything from Canada to here and I was living like in two homes for the longest time so when we're finally able to be here full time 
I brought a lot of my stuff with me that I shouldn't have, but timing is like everything. So when we had the time to do all that and get everything cleaned out and clean everything up, it was fantastic. And now, because of the YouTube, it's been a pleasure to be able to sit down and really have the time to do all this too, because we're, you know, we're all staying at home now more. It's just funny how life just, you have to change, you know, with how life takes you. Anyways, so when I traveled, these were always the palettes that I took with me because they were always those standard standards. Oh, I did this on the wrong hand. Let me wipe this off and we'll do it on the other hand. Because these are the type that no matter what you're wearing, they're neutrals and you can build them up and put a pop of color if you have some color. But these were always the ones that um, I always took, took with me. This is so weird. I'm so not left-handed. So this one here, uh, let's see how we do. God, is that weird? How funny that just changing from one hand to the other. That's this here. All right. It's funny, you know, when you get used to the habit of um, doing stuff with one hand and not the other. I was noticing, and I heard, uh, I think it was Catherine that mentioned it too, that one hand starts looking better than the other because you start putting all your creams and potions just doing swatches here on camera that one hand starts to look a lot nicer and you're like why does this hand look so much better it's because you're always putting all the serums even if it's just for a short period of time on the other hand okay and then the last three oh my guys i didn't tell you guys the names i apologize that's here oh, i'll go back and do that again okay and that's the whole palette there so that's the two palettes so like you see these are all those beautiful peaches. This is your standard neutrals. And I'll just put it up close again so you guys can see, and I'll try to keep it on this hand so you guys can see uh, what that all looks like. So starting with the first row here, which is this side here, we have uh, the shade called, oh God, they're so hard to read. I think it's uh, Shredded Palm something, God, and, uh, Kulada. That's what those three look like there. And then the next three are the way the light hits that metallic, it's very hard. I think it's Lovely Beach Cocoa Crush and Shell Shelvena. That's what those three look like there. And then the last three. Are those three there and we have uh, get cracking da coco and witty and those are those there so like I said really really happy that I have the opportunity to share these with you guys but definitely check the bundle area check the sale area and like I said with Colourpop and with every website if you haven't bought from their websites before wait until it's something that you want and then uh, put your email in because they'll always, I found it mostly everybody, I shouldn't say everybody, but for me, that's what my experience has been, that if you put your email in, a discount will come down. And with that discount, you know, you can apply it to the order that you're, you're going to be placing. So it's always an extra little bonus. But I've been buying from ColourPop for a while, so I don't even remember if I got that or not. But... Uh, I've been enjoying it for a long time and I haven't done it in a long time but when I first first started the channel I couldn't wait to uh, share it with you guys because I couldn't believe that I had access to Colourpop and then Colourpop started showing up in Ulta and uh, the Ulta that's uh, not even close to me it's the closest one to me which is still you know a half hour to 40 minutes away uh, I went all the way there and I wasn't even in that one it was only in certain Altas and stuff like that so that's the video on these two uh, wanted to share that with you guys I'll show you up close this stunning stunning one which is their newest launch called garden variety like I said it does not have a mirror and these are the stunning stunning colors in there I do have a swatches and everything of that. I will leave that video down below. It is to me a win. And uh, like I said, I enjoy ColourPop. I find their price, their packaging, and their quality. And those are the three things that I look for. And those are the ones that I always recommend to my friends and family, as well as you guys too. All right. Once again, everybody, I appreciate so much that you take any time out of your day that you choose to spend it with me. It means everything. Please leave in the comments down below how you feel about ColourPop and if there's some ColourPops that are your favorites, I would love to know because then I can see if it's something I already own or something I have to add to my true wants list. 
But during this time, it is so important that everybody continues to stay safe and stay well. And I'll see you all in my next video. Take care and bye-bye for now.